Hi everyone. Hi mom. Here's my latest journal. It's called, uh, it's actually Nature's Bounty and I just put memories on on the top. Uh, this is a wood piece that was gifted to me by Diane, I believe. Uh, I've used some craft text this time and I didn't double it or anything but I did double up the spine and then the cardstock is a real heavy weight from um, Blue Fern Studios and it's the same on the back. I've done some corners here from Butterbee Scraps. Uh, I've done a layered butterfly. It is a little dimensional here with some stickles and some frontage. I did some frontage, which is embossing enamel, basically another name for embossing enamel, uh, on the hands of the clock around here uh, on the memories as well. And the image, I think, is Christy Art. Uh, on Etsy. I'm not dead certain on that, but I think it is. Uh, I The only thing I have to do to it is just uh, do some decoupage on the top of it just to seal it, but I was so anxious to show you what it how it turned out. I've done uh, two signatures with the cross stitch and then of course the um, hairband closure, which I pretty much always do uh, with the hitch post from Tim Holtz. Got those on Amazon for people who are wondering. I think it's called a hitch fastener is what it's called. And okay, the inside is just done with some paper that I believe cardstock that I got at uh, Walmart. I'm not certain but I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is a Spellbinders here and then the My Journey is something that I created and I've put them in the store. This is what they look like. So you've got my journey in the circle and the oval and memories in the circle and the oval and then this book belongs to in a circle and oval. So when you print them out you can use any color of cardstock or paper whatever you want to use and that's what the background will show up as because it's you know it, it's an overlay. Anyway those are in the store. So like I said there's two signatures the Nature's Bounty kit as well as the ephemera pack. Uh, I've used and every single piece. So um, this is, well, it's easier if you go this way, is um, the big tag. This is the shipping style. Um, so more journaling space here. The die is from AliExpress. That's A-L-I-Express.com. They ship from China. They do take a while, at least here in BC. I, it takes forever for me to get them, but I don't care because they're cheap. <laughs> so it's worth it. It's worth the wait. Um, and then the journaling backgrounds are from another pack, which is uh, journaling. I, I forget what it's called, vintage journal or something like that. Uh, another die cut from AliExpress. And it comes as this big mat and also it comes so that you can cut out the perfect um, size of uh, rectangle for that. And then I've done a flip so you can use the entire page to journal on. And then I've done some tracing paper that I've tea stained. I've used um, an envelope here that I've covered in a napkin for a large fancy tag, scallop tag is what I called them and uh, painted it as well and this is from uh, TD Bank <laughs> so it's a flip as well and you don't lose any journaling space and this is one of the two that you get of your uh, file folders and I used it this way you can use them any way you want and then I've just included the little bird clip so he is silver but I colored the top of it with uh, a Copic marker And then I've added a little doily here. You can use it as a tuck spot. Layered it with several different flowers. This paper here is tea stain and it's the stuff that you get for the kids, you know, when they go back to school and they have, um, you know, you have to refill their binders. Uh, uh, refill paper, I think they call it here. Anyway, I think this is probably, mm, probably 20 years old. <laughs> when my son was in school and when I tea stained it it pretty much disappeared the lines so it just became almost a blank sheet of paper which is fine 
And then a little pocket here out of one of these pretty bags. This was sent actually from Debbie, so I just tea stained it and then added some trim. And then this is one of two belly bands. This is the second large shipping tag. And they're all printed with this background paper, which is a free download in my store. This is, um, I think this is the first belly, long belly band. And then you can print out the envelope. I printed it twice because I actually have four cards that go with it. Um, and that was just too much for one envelope. And you get four of these little booklets. I left this one open on the side. And then you get, I think, five of these little postcards and two of these mini tags. And this was done with a lot of layering here. So here's another one of the little booklets. This is done with one of these little mini, I have a larger one here, but I don't know what I did with the mini ones. Uh, and it's from a paper pack, I believe. I don't remember which paper pack, but they're, they're small, obviously. And uh, just layered one of these that I'd printed on um, photo paper, so it looks like a photograph. And I, that's a download from Etsy, but I did it so long ago that I don't remember what store that's from. This here, this die cut's also from AliExpress, and I used a whole bunch of texturing on it and paint and whatnot to get that look. Uh, just printed one of these full sheets and cut it in half so that I could create a little faux leather, faux letter, and then the little uh, wax seal that is my initial. This is hard to do backwards to me. <laughs> okay, so then this one is from a comp um, composition book and it didn't fade the lines so I really like the look of that when it's tea stained. This is from the planner kit and I've included two pages in here. It just went really well so I wanted to put those in there and of course I love the noise of that. Uh, this has nothing in it at the moment, um, but it's covering up the stitching. And then the to-do list is attached to the week, the one week there. Another week, I added another um, big glassine bag and put in a piece of the writing paper. The glassine bag is from Denise, Dreams Etc. No. Sorry, wrong store. <laughs> a Tattered Dream on Etsy. And she's um, Practice Makes Pretty on YouTube. And it's a flip, so you can write on the page. Uh, it comes with four of these corner pockets. And I think I told you you get four of the little tags. And then you get five of these postcards. So I use two of them to layer. There's another one of the tags. And then this is a little mason jar punch that I have layered it some of the paper that goes with the kit and uh, the little bling, it's actually trim, but I just cut one off from Diane and the little bulb pin, which I believe is Tim Holtz. And added a glassine bag that I've left so that you can tuck behind it. And this was left over from one of the pages that I cut up so that you can write on that. And I sprayed the back with some Lindy's. No, actually, I think that was something else that I sprayed it with. It's funny, you know, I've discovered that if you spray the back of a printed page, because if I used T and did what I did, it would have bled through and ruined the image. But for some reason, the actual colored sprays don't do that. 
I th honestly think it's the enzyme that's in the tea because, uh, you know, it, it ate away the color, you know, uh, it, it does some weird things when you use tea or coffee. There's a lot of acid in both of them, right? So uh, chemically, I think there's kind of a reaction, but when you use a colored spray, it doesn't seem to do that. And unless you're absolutely soaking it, then yes, it would do that. But I think because those are designed to sit right on top, whereas the tea penetrates. That's my theory. <laughs> and this is from another collection. I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> I've done so many lately that I just can't keep them in my head. And uh, there's the second corner pocket. And on to the second signature. This one flips open nice big spot there as well as a tuck with the second fancy tag and this also I left as a tuck so you could put something in there and that's part of that's the second little mini tag there another postcard another corner pocket which matches this one And then there's the second file folder that I actually left separate. So you could take it out and journal on it. And I think that's the last little postcard, possibly. Lost count, so I don't know. This glass scene, it's actually waxy. Um, this was, Debbie had sent me a bunch of stuff and that was part of it. That stuff were, was in it, and I thought, oh, that's a cool bag. I really like it. I glued the gusset together because it's a gusseted bag, but I glued it together so that it's more, you know, holds things a little nicer. Added a second envelope, and then on this side added another layered die cut from AliExpress as well as this one that's covered in the embossing enamel, and there's another tag. another postcard. I really love the birds in this one. And this I did a long time ago and um, it's funny I can see her face but I can't. Candy, that's her name, Candy Tiggs, sent me the napkins. And uh, this was just leftover cardstock that I thought was perfect as a journaling stick. And then another large shipping tag with the dragonfly on it love the purple in it, and I don't even like purple, but I really like the way this turned out. This was in response, really, to somebody who asked me to do something in purple, so I did. <laughs> and then this is also a tuck spot. What do I have here? Right here. I like that. So you get three banners, and then I think that's the last postcard. And the second little side belly band with the last fancy tag. This one's my favorite though. So you can see the difference. Okay, so this is done on photo paper, but you can get different kinds of photo paper. This is actually paper, 26 pound weight. And it's beautiful on the one side and it's duller on the other side because there's an A and a B. So I use both sides to print on, but you can tell the difference. It's much brighter on the A side. And then this was just sitting on my desk, so I decided to put a napkin on it. Okay, so here's some advice. People are saying to me all the time, can't find napkins anywhere. So if you live close to a a town or a city or you know wherever that has like a tourist area if you go into those stores you know where you buy stuff that really nobody actually wants but you think that's really cute and I'm gonna take it to them <laughs> beautiful stuff usually way overpriced they have napkins in there generally speaking that's where I got mine paid too much for them but they were gorgeous and they were purple, so I bought them. <laughs> I did a tourist thing in my own town and had a fun time with my mother-in-law. And I left the blank on this side so that you could journal and it wasn't just sort of a wasted space. And uh, this flap does open 
And there's another postcard in there. This comes with the kit, and it also comes with these two journaling cards. I added tabs to the top just because. Uh, don't need to, but eh, I like the look. And the tab punch is a retired Stampin' Up! that I ended up getting from eBay. Paid way too much for it, but you know, I use it a lot. And the little butterfly is also another AliExpress die. And here, I did this twice because I really love the look of it. And I love using the photos. I have had them printed forever. And uh, thank you, Joy, for this um, idea of using the little, folding it like that, making it look like a letter with the, you know, your wax seal. I think that's a cool idea. I love this page. And then I put this in backwards, but I made a little clip with the butterfly that I changed the color of with, uh, if you have Copics, you can change metal and or lace with a Copic marker and it's permanent. Added some frontage to the top around the uh, lid. And this is part of the paper that goes with the kit. And uh, then there's the two, two more cards there. Oh, I gotta tell you, it's smoking hot in my room right now. It's been like two months and we've had no rain and it's crazy hot and I think I'm tired of it now. <laughs> and watch us complain that it's raining, but yeah, my garden sure could use a nice hard rain. Even though I'm watering, you know, nothing like uh, Mother Nature. Okay, yeah. I'm doing this upside down so it's really difficult. <laughs> And then this one is a flip as well, as well as a tuck. Added one of the tea bags, and it, it, there's a three, I think, on the sheet. And then this little thing here is from Paper Collection, and added the 2017 and my information right in there. You can put anything you want in there. It's kind of a nice spot. And then I thought this page, I wanted to leave it blank, because then you could stick photos and stuff on it. You could write in a white with a white pen too. If you happen to have one. Love this page too. I'm actually really pleased with the kit. I really love the way it turned out. Happy colors, you know. And that's it. So it is listed in the store and hopefully this video works. This is my second time filming. I don't know what happened to the first one. It went all crazy, um, started playing it, and it was like, you know, couldn't see a picture at all. You could hear me talking, but it was weird. So I hope I didn't break my camera when I broke my tripod. <laughs> yeah, I do things like that, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll talk real soon. Bye.